So we took my little cousin to the city to see Santa Claus at Macy's. My aunt had to make an appointment. The only time they had was 8.15 in the morning. We had to get up at five o'clock in the morning, leave the house by six in the morning because we weren't trying to be rush hour. We would rather sit in the traffic on the BQ8 than take the fucking ferry and sit next to a bunch of weird ass douchebags that never heard of a shower. And the express bus is so fucking expensive and you never even get a seat. Now my little cousin is very wild. He don't sit still. He never shuts the fuck up. He only eats bologna. My aunt has been afraid of him since the day he was born. He's six years old now. She has nightmares about him coming into her bedroom to kill her. While we're in the car, he was pulling her hair and saying nasty things about her face. And again, he told me the story about the time that his mother was hit by a wave at the Jersey Shore and it almost killed her. And he's laughing. He said it was the best day of his life and it was the funniest thing he ever saw. He's told me this story about a hundred times now. So we get into the city and we get to Macy's. They put Sienna all the way at the top floor of Macy's because they don't want nobody to see him because Santa Claus is very offensive. So we finally get to the top floor and we see that the line is 200 people long. What the fuck is the point of making an appointment to see Santa Claus if you still have to wait on a line like an asshole? And we're talking to some of the other people and they all have the same time as us. I don't understand. So now we were walking through the secret Christmas land. There's the line going to Santa. It was crowded, but it was very pretty. Of course, you can't see none of this shit unless you're going in to see Santa because they hide all the Christmas decor behind the walls. My cousin is running around. He's cursing up a storm. He's six years old. He's cursing up a storm. He's kicking the elves. My aunt was crying. My uncle, he didn't stay. He didn't stay. He went out. We almost got kicked out of the Christmas land because of him. My aunt had to slip one of the elves $200 so we could stay. Finally, we get up to the line to see Santa Claus. We walk in to see him. He's sitting at a fucking desk. I thought he was gonna do our taxes. I swear to God, it was so scary to see Santa Claus sitting at this office desk. I swear, that's what's going on now. Santa's doing these kids' taxes. My little cousin got so scared when he saw this. Santa was getting the paperwork ready on the desk. He had a pile, he had paperwork. He started taking some of the files out and showing everybody. This was the first time I've ever seen my little cousin is scared. I've never seen him scared of nothing. Most people are scared of him. The desk was so big, he wouldn't even talk to Santa. He wouldn't even go over to the desk. He fell to the floor. Now, when we first walked in and we saw that the desk was there, there was a kid sitting in the audit chair getting the taxes done. I don't know, he looked scared, but his mother was probably telling him that you gotta sit there because I've been waiting online for like three fucking hours. But also, Santa was so skinny that it wasn't right. So he didn't say nothing, Santa didn't say nothing. That was it. I don't know what's going on. No, Nobody's allowed to sit on Santa's lap no more. I don't know if the kids are not allowed to sit on Santa's lap no more because of the virus. What is this just a new thing now that's gonna be going on forever? Because this is now fucking ridiculous. So, you know, if you wanna get your taxes done early, you can go see Santa at Macy's in the city.